Eu e a Hugo Schwester. that uh, so we're just getting the visuals there it is the uh, new mayor of Eteguini that's uh, re-elected I suppose we can look at it that way and Kolisi Kaunda he'll be giving uh, his uh, maiden speech in a very short while you can see they're trying to fix I think he is ready now let's go there live thank you very much honorable speaker of our municipality Kanzelanyawose our Honorable Premier of our province and the chairperson of the ANC in Guazul Natal, Honorable Zigalala. The engine of the organization, the African National Congress, Kumbe Timtum and the leadership of the ANC that you are leading today. MEC champion of our DTM and OSS, MEC for Education, MEC Mshengu, our MEC in Kokta, MEC Shomuga, leaders of political parties present today, General Secretary of EFF, the Provincial Chairperson of the IFP, all leaders present today leaders of political parties in the council, our newly elected executive committee, the deputy mayor, Kanzela Mavunda. New ANC. Our chief whip, Kanzela Ntuli. <laughs> <laughs> and all members of the executive committee elected. Councillors of our municipality, Amakosa Senjungulu, present, chief magistrates, the leaders of administration from the provincial <laughs> government, I saw the SOT for Kokta, <laughs> SOT Tubane, <laughs> the administration of our municipality led by the acting city manager, Mr. Mpele. Business leaders, <laughs> our stakeholders in the municipality, Okanas Labour, all stakeholders present, ladies and gentlemen, the protocol is observed. Good evening. Sanbonan, we are honored to stand before you on this important day of the inauguration of Eteguini Municipality Council. As the leadership of the Eteguini Municipality, we are humbled by the trust the people of Etiawini continue to show in the African National Congress. Although our support has declined during these elections, we continue to carry the hopes of the majority of people of our city. The citizens of Etiawini, we bow our heads, we salute you for participating in the elections and also in entrenching our democracy. We salute you for your contribution to our democracy. We are fully aware that this trust comes with great expectations. Therefore, we commit ourselves not to betray your trust and to work tirelessly to ensure that the lives of our people change for the better through accelerated quality service delivery. Honorable Speaker, let me recognize the former mayor of our municipality, the honorable member of the provincial legislature, Ukombrate Uzandile Kumete. 
a criminal. Let me also recognize the former speaker of this municipality, Ukumbre Itumama Wezuwechusi. And also acknowledge the presence of our former chief whip, Ubaba Ukabazen. And all leaders, former leaders who are present. Honorable Speaker, the people of Echegwini have spoken. Their message to us is loud and clear that we must work together to improve their living conditions. The fact that no political party obtained outright majority is an indication that we have not responded adequately, adequately to the aspirations of our people. There is still more to be done. Honorable Speakers, the African National Congress will continue to be guided by the Freedom Charter, the founding document of our constitutional democracy, that, and I quote, there shall be houses, security, and comfort. I close quote. It is this noble ideal that must rally all of us to work together as different political parties and collaborate with social partners to take our city forward. Colleagues, the time for electioneering has passed, and our people, including those who disagree with us politically, expect nothing more from us except to put our shoulders to the wheel and use all available resources to improve the living conditions of our people. Therefore, as we begin this term of office, we want to build a people-centered administration that is honest, accountable, and responsive. For this reason, our municipality will focus on the following key priorities which have been consistently raised by the people of Eteguini during our community outreach programs. Firstly, water and sanitation services electricity supply, waste management, crime and corruption, unemployment. These are the priorities that we'll be putting forward as the leadership of this municipality. So in the next five years, Honorable Speaker, this administration will persist with the task of investing in infrastructure projects that will address these challenges and create a conducive environment for investment to create more jobs. Next month, we'll be convening a moral lekuta and other sessions where we'll develop tangible program of action with clear timelines to improve service delivery in our municipality. Subsequently, within the first 100 days of this administration, we we'll expect officials tasked with leading service delivery units to present concrete plans of fixing our aging infrastructure to prevent sewer spillages, water leaks and shortages, poor waste management and unstable electricity supply. We do not want lazy employees, but we want employees who will be responsive to the aspirations of our people. In the next two weeks, we'll be meeting with Umgeni Water to resolve bulk water supply challenges in our municipality. We also want to see all our street lights to be in working order from the CPD, suburbs, townships, and rural areas. Honorable Speaker, we have seen in the past that one of the key instruments of accelerating service delivery is Operation Sugumasaki. This intervention has enabled us to respond to service delivery challenges in various communities on the spot, working closely with all spheres of government in line with the district development model. As we hit the ground running, we'll enhance Operation Good Hope, which is housed in the office of the Chief Operating Officer. This operation entails visiting identified service delivery hotspots every week by municipal operations team to attend to challenges of refuse collection, water leaks, clearing of veggies, illegal dumping sites, street lights, sewer spillages, and pothole patching. We acknowledge that as the municipality we have not delivered services to the satisfaction of our residents. However, 
With these initiatives, we commit ourselves to do much better. The current term of office of this administration will be characterized by business unusual approach. No official will enjoy the comfort of an air conditioning office while our people suffer the indignity of poor service. We are all going to be on the ground fixing problems that our people face daily. This is a commitment we made in our manifesto as African National Congress. Colleagues, creating a positive investor climate in the city is critical in our efforts to make Eteguini the preferred destination for visitors and investors. In this regard, we'll be implementing plans to ensure that community crime-fighting structures remain functional. In addition, we'll also accelerate the rollout of our smart policing program, which entails increasing the use of technology such as CCTV cameras to monitor and prevent crime in our municipality. We'll be recruiting more metropolis personnel to beef up our crime prevention strategies and to enforce city bylaws. We'll also reinstate the unit which has existed before in this municipality they feel safe the municipality is forging ahead with its inner city regeneration program which among others identifies bad buildings that need refurbishment and we appeal to property owners to work with us to resolve these challenges Honorable Speaker, Etewin Municipality is working with various stakeholders to address the issue of homelessness, particularly in the inner city. Since the advent of COVID-19, the city has run a successful program at our 13 temporary shelters to equip homeless people with skills. Moving forward, we are going to intensify these interventions in order to find lasting solutions to the homelessness challenge in our municipality. Bonke lababa kona bange nazo indawo zokuhlala abahle ezidolobheni lethu abanye abahle ezimgwaqweni kuzomele mande sibenze nabo bebe ingxenye yokusebenzela idolobha lethu ukuze lihlanzeke idolobha lethu ukuze silwisane nokugebengu ngakho ke uzofana ngabe khona umuntu ohle izungenzi ilutho bonke abantu abafakwe enhlelweni zokulungisa idolobha lethu silise phambi Honorable councillors COVID-19 and July civil unrest have had a devastating impact on our economy in collaboration with social partners through a Tegwin Economic Council, we are able to identify economic sectors that are instrumental in the economic revival of our city. Through the social compact, we have signed with business, organized labor, civil society, traditional leadership, and government, academia. We want to grow our economy and create much needed jobs for the youth in particular. They are signs that our economy is now on the upward trajectory due to the commitments made by business to retain and sow new investment in the city. We are pleased that the process of rebuilding affected businesses and destroyed infrastructure continues with the great support from all spheres of government. As the leadership of the municipality, we want to assure both international and local investors that it is now safe to do business in Etewin, as illustrated by the hosting of Africa, of Africa Intra-Trade Fair, the biggest trade fair that uh, occurred in our municipality last week. As we strive to attract more investment into the city, we must promote the ease of doing business by eliminating red tape in the processing of development applications. By the end of January, we want to see a concrete plan to fast track development applications within the municipality. Ladies and gentlemen, our law enforcement agencies, including SAPS and Metropolis, will also present their plans to deal with invasion of construction sites and extortion of money from businesses by unscrupulous business forums in the municipality. As the municipality, we have established an SMME help desk to assist small businesses and operators to access opportunities in the city within the confines of the law. 
Honorable Speaker, the COVID-19 pandemic and July civil unrest further exposed the inequalities that still exist in our society. Furthermore, the unrest threatened to undo the work we started in 1994 of building united and social cohesive communities. This calls on all of us to roll up our sleeves and accelerate radical socio-economic transformation program and build an economy that reflects the demographics of our city. As we lead towards the conclusion this, to this end, we are going to fast track the implementation of the mayoral 10-point plan, which is our pathway towards building an inclusive economy. At the heart of this plan is to reposition Deben as a competitive global port city that will help drive economic integration in the continent of Africa. One of our priorities with the first 100 days will be to meet with Transnet and all relevant government departments to assess the progress on our plan to ease congestion and improve infrastructure at the port. Most importantly, we want to increase the participation of blacks and Africans, blacks in general and Africans in particular, in this sector through value chain beneficiation and skills development. In the 10-point plan, we have identified procurement as one of the catalysts to drive radical social economic transformation. In this regard, we are moving ahead with the plan of transforming the municipal infrastructure spend to ensure that 30% of the city's contract is allocated to black-owned SMMEs and cooperatives and 35% to social enterprise and cooperatives. This also forms an integral part of our vision to grow the rural and township economy. Through these reforms, we are determined to make a Teguini shining example of how government procurement spend can be used to drive radical social economic transformation. Colleagues, we are determined to build a responsive and accountable government and administration to ensure that our plan addresses the plight of our people. Therefore, we are going to continue to fight the cancer of fraud and corruption in the municipality. Corruption and mismanagement of public resources stand in a way of service delivery and is an enemy of the people that we serve. <laughs> Malfeasance hinders development and progress, thereby disrupting government's noble program of building a better life for all. Our performance in the local government elections can be attributed to, among other things, lack of responsiveness within the municipality. Therefore, we are not going to tolerate laziness, poor customer service, and unprofessional behavior from our officials. Whilst there is progress in keeping mismanagement, we are going to bolster our fraud prevention mechanisms to allow us to detect fraud and corruption before it happens. As part of applying consequence management to wrongdoers, we'll ensure that we recover all resources that have been stolen. We welcome the local government municipal systems amendment bill, which seeks to prevent errant officials from moving from one municipality to another, thereby evading accountability. This bill demonstrates that ANC government is committed to rooting out corruption in the public service. Honorable Speaker, as you may be aware, the majority of population of Etewini is the youth. So therefore, all our programs should also become youth-centric. Unfortunately, it is also the young people who bear the brand of social ills, such as diseases and crime. For this reason, we are going to accelerate our HIV and AIDS initiatives through the District AIDS Council to reverse the sketch of this disease. Our emphasis will continue to be on empowering adolescent girls and young women who are disproportionately vulnerable to the HIV infections. We are also encouraging boys and young men to take necessary precautions through the Department of Health Drive to promote circumcision and the use of condoms. In the next three years, the municipality will invest more resources to roll out the TB, HIV, and AIDS awareness campaigns. At the center of these campaigns will be to encourage people to get tested 
and to remain in the treatment program. At the same time, the city will continue to build adequate sports and recreation facilities in our communities to ensure that young people live an active and healthy lifestyle. In the next five years, we'll continue to roll out information technology infrastructure, including Wi-Fi uh, free hotspots in line with our vision of becoming one of the leaders in the fourth industrial revolution program in the continent. To make ITC services available to the youth, we'll speed up building of human capital center of excellence to ensure that young people are able to access employment and business opportunities through internet where they live. Akfunegu tulu sholvele inda une simakaya luhamba mabanga maate liofunim sebenz, lio apply msebenz. Segu kipiza njinkino upu manje kompyuta, sigu azu kutis apply, si upload ama si viz etu, unga azu utsebenz ima lukkini asekaya ugu ufuna matubu msebenz. Ilo hulumen ozu kubega gwenze loko. Colleagues, Eteguin is endowed with 100 kilometers of coastal line, rivers, and beautiful open spaces. We are committed to continue to preserve our environment. Recently, the city conducted an environmental assessment study which raised concerns about the city's management of its environmental assets. Working with all spheres of government, the private sector, and civil society, we are going to embark on aggressive awareness campaigns to educate communities about protecting the environment. Topping our program, of action is to urgently convene a meeting with all relevant units within the municipality to develop clear plans with clear timelines so that we are able to respond to the challenges that are imposed by climate change. Honorable Speaker, like any other city in the world, we are not immune to climate change disasters. This needs to spare us into action and lend a hand in the world's endeavor uh, to, to reduce carbon footprint. We are fortunate that after the alarm was sounded about dangers of climate change, our city wasted no time in developing a climate action plan. As we speak, we have a number of mitigation and adaptation programs that are currently being implemented, and we are not going to take foot off the pedal. Colleagues, we are committed to building a people-centered administration that inspires hope to our people. We call upon our officials to be more empathetic, empathetic uh, to the living conditions of our people. It can no longer be business as usual. We must all be mindful that our aim is to build a capable and developmental state city, and this requires a workforce that is fit for purpose. We want to thank our beloved movement, the African National Congress, for the confidence that it has shown to us to lead this municipality and the leadership they've provided to guide us all the way. We, are he we hereby make an undertaking that we are not going to disappoint people of Eteguin and our movement. We also commit to working with everyone in this incoming council to ensure that we earn trust and respect of communities that we have serve we served and that have elected us. Honorable Speaker, we bow our heads, we humble ourselves. Siti kubantu bagiti siya bonga uguzi votela, kotwa futi siya ibopezela, uguti futi laba li zuguwe la panzi, bazo stola si ila apagunye nabo, enda unabashala nazo, ukshinchi impilo zabo, zibe ngono. I thank you.